Okay, understanding the different blacks in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, blacks are tricky in Adobe Illustrator. They're not quite as straightforward as all the other colors. So let's see what's going on here. We have this one. It's a, like a very dull matte, and this is a, a more of a glossy, what's called rich black. But they're both black. I'm going to go up here to Preferences in Illustrator and uh, pull down to Appearance of Black. Most people don't even know this is a thing. So, display all blacks as rich black. If I do that, you're going to see this one turn just as glossy as this one. Ready? But they actually have different color values. These are This is uh, over here, and we look at my color palette, and this is in a CMYK mode. You can change, you can toggle these around. You know. So, CMYK. This guy is just black. There's no other cyan, magenta, or yellow, or another, basically no other highlight colors, like adding any other color to it. And this guy is 100, 100, 100, 100, which is a very rich black. It has all cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And, you know, if you're printing, uh, you'll, you'll notice these things would print differently. This would print like it did uh, when we had the preferences set uh, for the appearance of black as accurately because it's accurate you can go like that boom see that so that's what it is it's uh the lacking of the cyan magenta and yellow in uh in addition to black when this rich black has just that and um if you're if you're actually doing on this job on a printing press then you don't want to go full hundred you want to go a uh, value i've always been uh, told to stick with and this really works well is a uh, you don't want to go over uh, 265 total. So this is, oh, whoops, this is the key that I have had in my. You don't even want to know how long that for printing on a printing press, CMYK printing press. You want to use 55, 55, 55, 100. That's a really nice rich black, and it doesn't flood the printer. But if you're just talking about you know outputting and JPEGs and, and whatnot uh, for a website for whatever you're using. This is the deal. So you want to you know you can either um, have Illustrator display uh, you know like I, I did in here. Have Illustrator display them accurately, uh, or you can actually print them. See, uh, for printing and exporting, you can output them as rich black, or you can output them accurately. So there's there's safeguards in there too. So you could do either one, but now you can see exactly what what the issue may have been or you know how to rectify it so thanks for watching the uh this adobe illustrator tutorial and i hope that helps have a good one